Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter Game Found Critique, where we take a look at a different Game Found project every single weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, get my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. Show note, no shows next week, it's Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday is I'm out of time. But today I'm very excited to be checking out uh, this game on Game Found, Escape from New York by Kevin Wilson. It's raised $173,000. You go in, find the president, bring him out in less than 24 hours, and you're a free man. Quotes. An escape from New York, an adaptation of the John Carpenter movie of the same name. You play a snake, brain, Maggie, or cabbie, and attempt to rescue the president, and dot, dot, dot. This is a stable pledge, which I still, I don't quite understand it. Like, I've never seen anybody raise the price of a Kickstarter, always the price of the shipping. So, a main image, I gotta say, I hate it. Like, literally, the, the only thing it tried to seem like they did was let me know that it's an escape from New York game. Like, I get that from the main image. You don't need to pull... A, I guess you tell me a little bit about the theme by saying, you know, this is what's going to happen. Uh, but still, I'd like to know the player count, the time link, the age, the mechanisms. Is this cooperative? Is this competitive? Is this social deduction? Is this one versus all? You tell me so little here, and yet you're basing everything just on the fact that I'd say, ooh, an Escape from New York game. And that just seems lazy to me. Like, yeah, obviously. But I, actually, I do want to mention one other thing they're doing. And that's, they mentioned Kevin Wilson, who is a, a very prolific game designer, as we're going to find out in a couple minutes, I would imagine. But still, nonetheless, if I don't know who Kevin Wilson is, I'm unimpressed by that. I don't know, it's like, okay, it's just a person. What's who's who did trick shot by somebody, somebody. Um, so I always feel like mentioning a little bit more would be great here. But it's already funded. Let's check this one out. 170000 uh, bucks. You play a snake, Brain or Maggie, attempt to rescue the president his precious tape and bring them to safety while dealing with the gangs of the most dangerous planet uh, of Manhattan. So pretty much you're telling, yeah, you're just telling me the theme of the movie. Thanks, but no thanks. Uh, so 170,000 bucks, let's go. It's always going to go to the video. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Hey, it's you. In 1988, the crime rate in the United States rises 400%. The once great city of New York becomes the one maximum security prison for the entire country. A 50-foot containment wall is erected all around Manhattan Island. All bridges are mined, and the United States police force is encamped around the island. There are no guards inside the prison, only prisoners and the world they have made. The rules are simple. Once you go in, you don't come out. But now, the government must get one person out of this hell on Earth. The President of the United States, who just went down inside New York City after- Okay, this feels like this is 100% directed at people who, who, who love the movie. And there's, like, right now they're just like, hey, don't worry. This is gonna be very thematically correct to the game, which is fantastic. And that's what I'd expect from a Kevin Wilson game, to be quite frank. If, I, if he's the designer, then I'm pretty sure that he is. Uh, based uh, What I mean by that, I think I know the games that he's made before. But but still, I need I need more than just, hey, here's what happened in uh, this movie from 1988. After his plane was hijacked. Penetrating the city in force is too dangerous. So the police decide to use a decorated ex special forces soldier who became a dangerous criminal just sentenced to life in not Kirk Douglas, but Kurt Russell. Thank you, Babs. <laughs> prison. I'm not a fool, Pliskin. Call me Snake. You go in, find the president, bring him out in 20. Okay. Does this have app integration? Because if this doesn't have app integration, and I'm not actually going to hear the voices of the movie or something like that, why is why is this in the video? Like Four hours, and you're a free man. What if I'm a little late? No more snakes. That's not, that's not him. Okay. With deadly explosive charges in your neck, you have no other choice but to reach New York by air, rescue the president, and find the government tape before it's too late. Okay. Gameplay. There we go. you will have help on your mission. But beware, you will be short on time, and some of you will only want to. I'm sure if I remember the movie, because I have seen this movie a couple times. I remember we used to have a VHS of this that my dad recorded. I used to watch it quite a few times. I liked the movie a lot. Um, and I'm sure if you're a huge fan of the movie, you're like, oh, that's this person, that person, the other person. But once again, I feel like this is aimed exclusively at people who are a fan of the movie. I still need to know more about the game. And I, I, a minute 49 before you get into it. That's a long time. Escape from New Granted, York. Granted, this is game found. 
GameFound is much more like a boutique to me. Uh, I, I don't even consider GameFound and Kickstarter the same platform anymore, like the same level, just because there's no competition on GameFound. It's just, you know, Awakened Realms comes in and they make three million, three million bucks, everybody else eats the crumbs every once in a while. Uh, at least that's how I see GameFound at this point. Dork. Escape from New York transports you into the iconic atmosphere of the 1982 film by movie master John Carpenter. Take on the role of Snake, Cabby, Brain, or Maggie, and use their unique action cards to Ooh. explore the dangerous asymmetric special abilities. Great! You're fighting enemies and collecting useful items along the way. Ooh, okay. During the game, you must search for the president, his case containing the government tape, and a diagram of the bridges so you can escape from the city without stepping on a landmine. You can work together searching for these things, or you may decide to secretly satisfy your own personal objectives at any moment during the game, escaping from New York alone and betraying... Semi-cooperative. There we go. And, and <clears throat> here's the bottom line. A lot of people don't like semi-cooperative. I would venture to say that's probably one of the top 10 most disliked mechanisms in games. Let me know what you think about that one. Like, and I'd go top five even. You know, I think Abstract Strategy is up there. I think this is up there. I think Take That's up there. Uh, but I still think you should mention it right from the jump on the marquee because there's going to be a whole group of people like me who are like, oh, semi-co-op, that's my jam. Uh, so that's, I don't know. I feel like we just lean too much into the movie. In your companions. Whatever your decision will be, you must face the gangs of Manhattan headed by the Duke of New York who will hinder you by moving prisoners and bosses to consume the short amount of time you have. The countdown has started. You must complete your mission before the timer runs out. Otherwise, all the heroes lose. Okay. Escape from New York. <laughs> the greatest escape of them all is about to blow. The snake mini looks like Forrest. Well, considering it's uh, Kurt Russell and not Kirk or Kirk Douglas, either one, that's a compliment. Eh? Future apart. Okay. The game looks fun. I don't feel like I was wowed by it. I think if you're a fan of the movie, I think that's different. I think they did a good job appealing to the fans of the movie there. But I do think, honestly, just looking at the gameplay, it's like, okay, I've seen quite a few games, and I don't remember any of them, but it's like, yeah, that, that looks like about that. It looks similar to other games in this genre. Um, the semi-cooperative does excite me, though. So, one to four players, 60 minutes, 14 plus, you're getting uh, you're getting this. And so, Pendragon Game Studio, normally I like to look at their their track record on uh, on Kickstarter. Well, oh yeah, they sent me this game, actually, but they only sent German rules. So, it's sitting on my shelf, I think, somewhere. So, let's check out what their previous track record is, because normally I like to look at this on Board Game Geek, or on uh, Kickstarter, or GameFound, Kickstarter, Starship Interstellar. Let's type that one in, and then we'll get back to the page. Starship Interstellar. Oh, it's not out yet, but it'll still let us know what we want to know. All right. So, you go in, find the president. You literally just copy and pasted this from the... Uh, okay, I don't need that twice. It's redundant. Based on the John Carpenter movie, I know. One to four players, 14 plus, 40 to 90. I thought it's a 60. Now it's 40 to 90. Could we, I don't... Do, can you have? Oh, GameFound won't let you fill this in by yourself? Really? Is that, is that right? <laughs> Let me see that. Is it like that uniformly? My internet's too slow. I can't check. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what's in the box? 59 bucks. That's that's very reasonable. 59 euros, but once again, that converts to dollars pretty much. Uh, that's getting the base game. Four hero cards, one New York board. I'd like to know the dimensions. Improved by backers. What does that mean? I mean, is a stretch goal, an unlock, a social goal? Either way, I'm, I'm excited to find out more. Clearly, there's something interesting going on here that, that, that made that happen. So we got 37, 41, 45, 46, 58 cards, 59 cards, 66 cards, 69 cards, 81 cards, 85 cards. Okay, so we're on 100-ish cards. We got tiles, four things. So 59 bucks, I'm not, I'm not, that looks like a very reasonable price. This looks like an MSRP game. It comes with a couple minis. Wait, does this one not, this one comes with a standee. So this is the one that no one's going to buy, most likely. Okay. Is it only four minis? Hmm. Okay. So then we have the everything, which is, and it's, okay, it's only 16 more bucks. So I do feel like that was a smart one. Wow. No, it's 44 minis. 
So completely unnecessary, but the bottom line is 44 minis for 16 bucks. If you're an Escape from New York fan, it's going to make it more immersive and better, you know, thematically. I feel like that's a really nice, that's a great segue. I feel like their pledge level is pretty clean and clear. They've established the value. They're working their way up. And then we have the Not a Fool Pledge. This is the big one. This is what they want everybody to take. This is why it's the featured one. All right. You get everything we saw in the previous one, plus a fifth player expansion. Ugh. Puke. Gag me with a spoon. Why? Like this. Mm. Why do I have to get the minis just to get, get a fifth player expansion? Like that's something I really want. Like that's great. Uh, playmat. You're lumping together a fifth player expansion with another gameplay expansion with the playmat. And now I know this is going to be the most popular pledge level because that's just how Kickstarter and GameFound works. But anytime you're lumping in cosmetics with actual gameplay, always a half point grab grade down. That, that's just not fun. Now, granted, there, there are add-ons, so hopefully we can just get the add-ons. So pledged 1,122 times. That's the big one. 123 times for that one. And then 251 times for this one. What's the, oh, so this is where you get the... This is where you get the the four fancy minis. What? Right? This is weird because it's not in... Uh, oh, okay, there it is. Two, two... So wait, two... So this is the... Yeah, it's out of order. So it just weird, it's weirded me out. Okay, 11... So most of the people took the pledge they wanted them to take. Retailer pledge 20. Nice. Wow. So item ammo figures. And now we're getting stretch goals. Ooh, these are fun. Plastic car figures? Wow. This was great. Three Broadway tiles. Don't know what that means, but I can click on it and see it very clearly. Okay. I, I like how they're doing their stretch goals here. We went straight from the prices to the stretch goals. I already didn't have a huge issue with the prices. Granted, I don't feel like I was really sold well on either of those expansions or the fifth player expansion. But the $59 base game, it's like, okay, it's MSRP. I don't have an issue with that. Especially, so these are probably not going to come in the base one. Uh, this stretch will be added to the stretch goal box, which once again, you only get... Oh, no, everybody gets the stretch goal box. Hmm. Yeah, a $57 pledge. That doesn't look bad at all. That's, that's pretty damn nice. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. No, actually, it's not because I want the fifth player expansion. Yeah, actually, I hate it. Okay. Anyway, three Broadway tiles across the bridge game variant. Ooh, wow. Suggested by backers. That is hot. That is fantastic. Two trap cards, three tap tiles. That's a fun... This is a fun stretch goal area. Nice, nicely spaced out. Kudos. And we have, okay, so I could just get it. So what am I looking at now if I really want to get 59 plus the fifth play, 21 58 to add an extra player. Dang. They're pretty much saying, you don't want these add-ons, you idiot. Get the all-in. Which, I understand why they're doing it, but, hmm. Okay. How to play. Hero phase, don't care, I just want a video. Uh, I mean, that's nice that it's there. Don't get me wrong. If you want to dig into the weeds, it's fantastic. But I feel like most people would much rather have a video. Oh, it just automatically did it. Okay, well, there we go. Escape from New York. Overview. Index. Where are the components? The setup. Okay, looks good. Oh, yeah, let's go back. Let's go check out Pendragon Game Studio. Let's see what that Trek record looks like. It's normally I like to look at it on Kickstarter. Oh, Imperial Settlers. Oh, it looks like they bring... Okay, so they do a lot of stuff that's not necessarily... No, Captain Sona. Wow. Wow. Top 200. Top 200. Top 200. Top, but that one's... Uh, okay, so yeah, they do... These aren't necessarily their games, but they bring out a lot of other people's games. Okay. I don't remember... I'm drawing a blank on what the name of that word is. They did this word mine. Yes. Uh, okay. I don't know if they necessarily did that, but what they do... What the hell? They're a publisher, but... So there's international rights. So let's say if I made a game right now, and I put it out in the United States of America... What I could do is essentially reach out to companies all around the world, like Pendragon Studios, and say, hey, would you want to bring this game to France? Or would you want to bring this game to China? Or would you want to bring this game to XYZ country? And so then they would do the localization and legwork. And, and essentially, I would get less of that, obviously, because they're doing a lot of the legwork and taking a lot of the risk. But that's what they do. So I don't know if they actually made that game themselves. Uh, but, yeah, but Kevin Wilson, that's the other thing. I don't feel like we've spotlighted that enough. We mentioned it right from the jump, but I'm pretty sure Kevin Wilson's got quite a few highly rated games as well. We And here's the videos. Uh, is this a preview? I don't want that. Learn to play. Different enemies. Points of interest on the board of their choice. It's an overview, but it says learn to, wait, it's learn to play is the name. So hopefully this is an actual learn to play video. Uh, play through and how to play. Bingo. There we go. That's what I want. 
Okay, so we got a three. We got we got a bunch of other stuff. Don't care. So we got the playthrough. Money. I would like to see a solo. Is there a solo? I don't think they have like a specific solo. That'd be nice, especially since this is a one-player game. Why pledge on game found? Obtain extra components. Help us realize improve this game. Game board map. Um, shipping. What do we got? Twenty-five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> That's um. That so I immediately hate this shipping area. Couple reasons. Biggest one is. Last time I checked, there's three pledge levels. You just saying twenty five dollars flat for everybody? Because because then at that point I'm like, yeah, f you. If I'm not getting the not a fool pledge, because I'm sure the not a fool pledge then at that point looks like a a decent price. Because once again, they got to have a tube to do this. They got the box, so it's like, like a box and a tube. Um, but yeah, yeah, not a fan of that. What, like you got numerous pledge levels, have numerous shipping areas. It's a half point grade bump down for me. That's just not fun customer service because now I have to assume or ask, which are two things I don't want to do. Especially when I wasn't that wowed by your game. When you leaned that hard on the theme. Like, I know about the theme of Escape from New York most likely if I'm clicking on this. At least I think. I guess I guess I am an old fogey. I don't know. About us, game designer. Here we go. Ten years at Fantasy Flight Games, Cosmic Encounter, Android, Descent, Journeys into the Dark. Yeah, why is this buried 18 minutes into the Kickstarter page? This is what I'm talking about. Like this, boom, creators of these games, which are highly, highly rated. And it's it's buried down here be below just a myriad of other things, which, are they more important? I, I don't I don't feel like they are. Where is it? Kevin Wilson. Yeah, like this, you prepare to be wowed if you don't know who Kevin Wilson is. Because this is, he has, he has permanent real estate in the top 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 of the top 1,000 games of all time were made by this man. That's insanity. 1% of the top 1,000 greatest games, which is, you know, 50,000, 100,000, an insane number of games that have came out throughout time. And this person did them. And, and so I don't feel like they really put enough respect on his name. Yeah, you, you mentioned it right from the jump. And if you know who Kevin Wilson is, that's great. But if you're newer to the hobby, which is a huge chunk of people, um, like buried all the way at the bottom, down with like like this, like who can, like no offense to any of these people, but this is not why we're here. This is potentially why you're here, and you knew that. That's why it's not just Escape from New York; it's Escape from New York by Kevin Wilson. So I just don't feel like they did a great job. Oh yeah, Fury of Dracula is fantastic. Uh, and once again, especially with sem and, and the other thing is, this is a semi-cooperative game. That's a very fragile game system, and it's just ooh, last Friday that one I've heard has uh, oh, it's the revised edition. I heard the original one was just absolutely god awful. <laughs> um, so, but apparently it had some great ideas because they brought it back. So, let's get to the everything else and give this one a grade. Your pledge, no nope. comments, FAQ. Not that there's anything popularity wise. Totally random, but be so cool to have a dice roller tower. So they're just suggesting things cool. I have the thing that the board game would love it. So this was an instant back. My biggest problem with the previous game is storage. I would love a better storage solution. Call me Snake. Heard you were dead. What? Uh, okay. Excited. My mom was an extra in the big fight scene filmed in the United Station. Cool. About the miniature size, of course, a 40 millimeter original allows to insert. Uh, so they are doing. So they're in here. They're communicating. That's good. That's what I want to see. Once again, the can you do it? I wasn't too worried about it. They have a great pedigree with the game designer, and they have a proven track record. So at the end of the day, do I want it? I feel like if you're an Escape from New York fan, I feel like they did a good job of convincing you. And I kind of look at this the same way I look at video game Kickstarter and GameFound projects, where I say to myself, all right, they weren't necessarily going for everybody. They were like, we're going to throw a bullseye on the Escape from New York fans. And for them, I feel like they did a good job. I feel like the 50, until we get to that shipping, that shipping was rough. Especially if you're at the $59 level, and then you're looking at this game, and you're saying, mm, it doesn't look like an $84 game. Uh, wait, the stretch goals. Oh, it doesn't come with all the minis. It comes with other stuff, but, okay. Yeah. I don't like the shipping. The shi and not just the price, but just the fact that there's only one pledge level. That, that just seems, you know. Um, so, do I want it? Yeah, it looks okay. Honestly... After watching the video and playing a lot of games, I'm like, I'm, I'm sold because of Kevin Wilson. I'll be honest with you there. I know who Kevin Wilson is. I've played a lot of his games. I think he's a great game designer. 
But if you're not sold by Kevin Wilson, I don't feel like they move the needle for you. If you're not, a, if you don't know who Kevin Wilson is and you don't know anything about Escape from New York, I don't feel like this moved the needle. That's what I'm trying to say here. But that's not necessarily who they're going for. So can you do it? Yes, I feel comfortable. How much is it? <sighs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Uh, at the end of the day, I feel like it was a solid project. Hate the main marquee. Like, literally, you just pretty much told me three times that it's Escape from New York instead of actually telling me valuable information like the player count, the time, like the age, the mechanisms. Um, you didn't put much respect on Kevin Wilson's game. I think this could have... I, I just feel like a little... A lot of little could have gone a long way. Plus that video, just it just meandered for so long. Just get to it. Get to it. A minute and 30 before we get to that. So I'm going to go with a C on this one. Uh, overall, I feel like it was solid, but... Yeah. But let me know in the comments below. What's your final grade for Escape from New York by Kevin Wilson? Um, yeah, they had the gameplay video, know how to play video, which is, yeah, so I'm going to go with the C, right in the middle. Let me know in the comments below what's your final thoughts on this one. As always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.